taking action months after their loved one was gunned down inside a popular store. Why family members say the major retailer holds some responsibility for his murder. NBC6 News at 5. A South Florida family is taking legal action against Walmart for a May shooting that left a father of two dead. The man's girlfriend and infant son witnessed the murder at the hands of an off-duty employee who allegedly attacked another worker. Marissa Mack is live in Lauderdale Lakes with their message this evening. Marissa. Well, Juwan and Jackie, the family feels pretty seriously that Walmart bears some of the responsibility for what happened to their loved one inside of their store several months ago. They tell me that they're hoping that this lawsuit will help create a safer environment for all. It's clear that this is still a very difficult time for them. When it happened, my son was only four months. So just that my son will never, ever see his dad. Makia Ford barely held it together as she talked about how her boyfriend, Thierry Bastian, was killed right in front of her and their infant son while shopping at Walmart back in May. She says Bastian tried to stop a man from attacking a female employee. Nobody else, nobody else intervened. He saved her life. There were no security, no Walmart employees tried to stop, tried to break up the altercation, so that is when he intervened. Inside the Walmart on State Road 7 in Lauderdale Lakes, Ford says she and Bastian watched as 22-year-old suspect Tyrone Sterling started to beat up a female employee when an argument turned physical. She says they asked other shoppers and employees for help, but no one acted. That's when Bastian stepped in. And other customers screamed and screamed for several minutes. This shooter took out the gun and shot him six times. He got off nine rounds before anyone from Walmart ever responded. Bastion's family filed a negligent security wrongful death lawsuit against Walmart, claiming the retail giant failed to provide adequate security to protect Bastion and other shoppers. We reached out to Walmart for comment on the lawsuit. They responded saying, quote, we're heartbroken over the incident that happened at the Lauderdale Lake store in May and offer our heartfelt condolences to the family during this difficult time. We're just learning of this and per policy, do not comment on pending litigation. As Ford grieves her incredible loss, she hopes to help prevent another tragedy. That no other family has to go through this again. And the attorneys have told us that there is surveillance video that shows the entire incident play out that has not been made public at this time. As for the suspect, Tyrone Sterling, he remains at the Broward County Jail charged with murder and robbery. He is also named in that lawsuit. We are live here in Lauderdale Lakes. Marissa Bag, NBC6 News.